want to know how Youth Habitat crew weaved these ivy baskets? First, we had to trek down the ravine. We collected all of this ivy from the Renfrew Ravine portion of Still Creek. Usually at EYA, we only like to collect as much as we need for doing crafts like this. But when it comes to invasive species, it's important to collect as much as you can so that it doesn't continue to spread. First step of processing was to take off all of the little bits and pieces of the ivy. But remember that it can grow back from just these pieces, so it's really important to collect them for disposal and not just leave them on the ground. The next step is to split your ivy. I use a knife to create the split at first, and then I use my fingers to keep it going along the ivy. Then we bundle up all of our split ivy and let it soak in water. Next, you'll need 8, 12, or 16 pieces of ivy. The longer the pieces are, the bigger the basket will be. Line them up in twos and create kind of a pattern like this, meeting them all in the middle. You'll also need one really long piece that you'll fold in half and tuck over two of the pieces like that. All you need to do next is cross the long piece over itself like so and put it over the next two pieces. Eventually, you can split up the pairs and just go one by one. You can play around with how loose or tight you want it and how narrow or wide you want your basket to be. As you continue on, it should start to take a basket-like shape. Then all you have to do is weave in the ends and there you have it. 